Hey everyone, this is Jack Keys, and today I'm going to be teaching you a tutorial of how to play my song Die On TV. And so first of all, I just wanted to thank everyone who has asked for a tutorial, it means a lot. And I'd love to see any covers people come up with. And then for those who have asked for To The Moon, I'm really honored, and that is coming next. I'll also be showing a tutorial on how to play that one, so stay tuned for that. And then lastly, I just wanted to announce that I'm going to have a new single coming out on uh, October 15th. And I'm really excited about the new songs I recorded this summer, so stay tuned for that uh, ahead of an album in the spring. And so, here is Die on TV. The first thing that's good to know about Die on TV is that it's in alternate tuning, and that alternate tuning is uh, CFC, CFC, FCE. And so it sounds very Nick Drake esque. C. F, C, F, C, E. And so the first chord I play on this song, I'm going to just explain it in tab language because I don't know what the chord is called, but it is zero, two, four, zero, two, four. And so I'll hold that down, and then the picking pattern is, you can watch my strings. And so I skip over this second lowest from the bass string, and I go, um, I'll just, num I'll explain in the, the numbers of the strings. Six, four, three, six, four, three, six, four, three, four. Six four three four six four three four, and then the only thing I add to this intro part is I also add um, I move my pointer finger from the fifth string to the third string at one part, and so during that part I bar it. But you could also just move your pointer finger, and so if you watch my fingers, hopefully it will make sense what I'm doing. So I bar it for about two notes, and then I think I lift. Bar, lift. Or you could do this. But I always hold that pinky down on the fourth fret of the fourth string. In fact, for the next chord, I'll keep the pinky still down, and I'll move my pointer finger to the second note of the bass fret, or the second fret of the bass note. So for this sequence, it is 204, 202, all zeros, and then 202. But we're just using these three bass notes for this part. So 204, 202, zeros, and then back to 202. The next part is the most confusing part of the song, and so hopefully you can just follow my hands because I'm going to be more confusing if I try to explain it, and so hopefully um, you can just follow my hands, but um, it starts off back to the barred thing that I was doing at the end of the last part. So, so far we have... Then we go back to that barred shape. So you're going to bar the second fret and then have the pinky in the fourth string of the fourth fret. And then you're going to hit the fifth, fourth, and third strings. Let them ring out. And then this is the part that I'm going to have a hard time verbalizing. So that is, oops, sorry. So it's really just the pinky that's moving around here, and then I also lift the bar at one point. So the pinky will go and the pinky will end on the fourth fret of the fourth string. The fourth fret of the fourth string is what I meant to say. So one more time. And then we go back to that bass sequence that we had. 204, 202. 
zeros and then 202. And that is the bulk of the song, uh, the verse at least. The only other thing is that I also do this high part before the chorus where I do the melody on a higher, um, in a higher way. And so that will be zero two, zero, zero, four. And then I uh, move that shape so that it is zero one, zero, zero, two. And then lift, and then back to that shape. The second time through, I do a little different. I start at the same shape, but then I move uh, from the second fret to the third. Or sorry, and then I move, I still move my pinky to the second, uh, second fret, so. It's so this chord. Zero three zero zero two. So and then I move my pointer finger from two, then to zero, and then to three on the third string. Or no, to two on the third string. I'm sorry, I'm being so confusing. And then it goes back to that very first thing we learned, and that's the chorus. So I'll play through everything that I taught so far. Uh, and if you, if I'm being confusing, just send me a DM and I will definitely uh, explain certain parts over again if it's hard to follow. But I'm going to try to get really close to the camera while I play, play through this one time. almost all of the song. The only other part is a bridge part. And so for the bridge, it is zero, four, four, two. It should sound like that. Zero, four, four, two. And then we're gonna move our pointer finger around a little bit on this, so. So that is you're lifting your pointer finger from the second fret of the third string, and then you're doing open on the B, what's usually the B string, and then two on the B string, then four on the B string, and back to two, and then open. So. Once you're left with this E minor shape, you're going to slide it over to where E minor really would be. And then you're going to go back to 202, and then 404, 505, and then a C major 7 shape. So that is 032. So one more time, you can just wash my hands if I'm not explaining it the best. And that is the entire song, so thank you for sticking with me through this short little video. Um, I hope it made sense. If it didn't, like I said, just send me a message and I will teach you a little more. Hopefully it at least got you started on the right track. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like I said, To The Moon tutorial is coming soon. And then singles coming out October 15th. I'm gonna have three singles and then an album coming out in the spring. So stay tuned. Give me a follow on Instagram, Spotify, all that stuff. And thank you for watching. See you guys.